What's up, everybody? Tuesday night, we had some action going on at Buckeye Field. The Ohio State Buckeyes squared off against the Toledo Rockets in their last non-conference matchup of the season for the softball Bucks. Sophomore right-hander Emily Ruck got the nod for Ohio State and immediately ran into a challenge in the first inning. Toledo's senior third baseman, Dana Denner, doubled. They made it to third on this error. She proceeded to score off of this sacrifice fly hit by sophomore outfielder Lauren Erickson to give the Rockets the early 1-0 lead. Not down for long, the Buckeyes snatched the lead away in the bottom of the third thanks to their two best power hitters. Junior designated player Sam Hackenbratt began the offensive party by cranking this solo shot over the left field wall for 11th of the season. Senior first baseman Nikki Carver joined in by hitting one of her own to straightaway center to put Ohio State ahead 2-1. Carver decided she wasn't done mashing home runs as she extended the Buckeyes lead with this 3-1 blast in the bottom of the fifth, scoring pinch runners Tegan Cordelletti and Kirsten Ebley. However, Toledo did not go down without a fight. In the top of the sixth with two outs, freshman infielder Cindy Griffith knocked this two-run home run off of sophomore righty Allison Smith, cutting Ohio State's lead to one. The Buckeyes brought in their ace, graduate lefty Lexi Hanley, to close out the game in the top of the seventh. That is exactly what she did as she struck out the side to pick up her fourth save on the year. Ohio State is now 24-10 on the season and looks to continue their momentum at Iowa in a three-game series this weekend. For Lantern TV, I'm Megan Husline.